G'day and welcome back to the build table at RC Model Reviews and it's Fixed Wing Friday but not a lot to show for it at the moment. This is the Pulse Jet Powered Mini Talon. As you can see I've done quite a bit of work on this thing. You notice we've got this metal foil tape over all the bits that are going to get really hot. I haven't finished putting it. I'm going to put some more up here because this is going to get pretty hot. I've got, I'm looking for my silica uh, thermal blanket material. I can't find the damn stuff. It's really peeing me off. So um, what I'm going to do is put another layer of that and here, or when I find it I'll put a layer on it, and another layer of foil over the top. Now this is the automotive foil that you, well, foil tape like this. This brand, uh, this is the uh, Norton brand, and it's a, quite a thick aluminium foil with a adhesive backing, and it's really good at reflecting heat. So I've put it over the centre section here. I'll just take the motor off for the moment. See where the motor's going to go? Up here. Fuel tank's installed. Let's take that fuel line off. And I haven't bolted the motor on yet, so that's the next thing to do. But you can see that We've got the center, the removable center section here, which I've which I'll try and take off with one hand because we're uh, filming this. Uh, come on, there you go. So, um, set some tape on there. We've got tape right down here. There's not much inside this thing. I've just got to put the receiver in at the moment. Um, but you can see I've put the foil over here, foil over there. Um, it compound, it goes around compound curves quite nicely if you work it. As you can see up here, it sort of followed these curves quite well. So. This is all very straightforward at the moment. Got some extensions going off to the well, Rudivator servos. Rudivator? Yeah, I guess they are Rudivators. Um, I've still left the wings plug on, but I'll probably put another piece of foil over the top here because I don't think I'll be taking the wings off at any stage soon. Now the tank is right up inside there and it's held in place. You can see a piece of wood underneath here and I've got some foam on either side. So this tank isn't going anywhere. It's not a particularly big tank, unfortunately. I think it's about 400 mils. So it's only going to last us a minute or two. Um, more tape to go in here, but I've got to glue the block on there to mount the motor first. And, well, really, that's about it. There's not a lot else to report. A very quick, simple build. wasn't too impressed with the way some of the foam lined up. You can see this here. Uh, it lines up okay at the bottom a little bit, but up here, I mean, the two halves of the fuselage are not a really good fit on this particular one. I bought the ARF, not the plug and fly, so I had to glue the two halves together, which is great. Gave me a chance to get the engine mount, on, or, sorry, the tank mount on there really easily. And... As I say, I'll be running uh, tape up to about here, but I'll be putting some thermal blanket down on this piece here so that I've got extra insulation. So, um, weather allowing, test flight will be in a day or two, and of course, you'll be the first to see it here on RC Model Review. So, stay tuned. Isn't the, the build table is just like my other bench? It's a mess. Utter, utter, utter mess, but never mind. So, there you go. Um, now, if this does fly, I'll be doing a full build video, so if you want to build along at home, you'll be able to. I uh, will probably publish some of the bits of wood that I've made for the, for the tank mount and everything as a PDF, and you can trace around them, all that sort of stuff. So, yep, stay tuned. It's coming very soon. Sorry, not much else to report for Fixed Wing Friday. But thanks for watching anyway. Bye for now.